All right, guys, I'm just heading over to a Back Bay launch site, one I'm familiar with. Um, I'm gonna try for, let's see if there's any, I'm sure there's still a lot of fluke back here, but if there's any keepers or whatever. But never be sure of anything, but there's a distinct possibility I'll have a shot at some fluke, but keepers, that's another story. So I'm gonna give it a try. Um, see what happens. I'm gonna make this, it's gonna be probably, I'm gonna fish the last three hours of the outgoing and maybe a couple hours of the incoming tide and just uh, drift out towards the inlet and then drift back in. So, God willing, I'll make it back alive. Of course, there's a lot of talks of sharks and stuff, but I don't know, I mean, I'm in New York, I mean, some lady just lost a leg over in the Rockaways, but it's the only thing I, I, I'd rather get shot at than deal with a giant shark out there, but on a kayak, but I feel pretty confident I have a shot at something decent today, hopefully, barring any uh, outside influences of a dangerous denomination, if you want to say, but it looks pretty calm over here, I'm the only, so there's only two cars in here, it's quiet, alright, hopefully, uh, yeah, it just looks pretty good. All right, I'll check back with you guys later, hopefully, with some keepers. All right, take care, guys. All right, once again, I'm, there's uh, one other boat out there, small boat. And I'm heading towards the inlet. Not much traffic on a Sunday, which is nice. And uh, I'm just going to try for some summer flower. Check back with you guys later on. Okay, here we go. Now this is a predatory fish. Definitely a predatory fish. He's taking some line, this guy. He's gonna rip the reel right off of you. Because this reel is not attached that well. Unless the pole's old. What is that? Oh, is that a striped bass? Oh my god, look at this weak fish. What a beautiful weak fish. Get this net quick. Wow, that's a beauty. It's a nice size weak. Let me try to get him over here if I can. Yeah, I definitely can, but he's still a little green, this guy, under the gills. It's a beautiful weak fish. Beautiful week. Wow, look at the size of that. That's a beautiful week fish, man. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at that thing. I was going to say, that was no fluke. <laughs> Alright. I'm not going to keep this guy. He's too nice, man. Look at this guy. I'm going to get a measurement on him quick and then get him back in the water. Hopefully. measure him up that's a beautiful fish man look at him these guys have some teeth on them so watch this guy be careful of him Easy, buddy. Just want to get a measurement on you, that's all. Alright. If I can, I Come on. There we go. Twenty-seven inch weak fish. That's oh, a nice fish, man. Alright, we get him back in the water. There he goes. He's good. All right. Very nice. That's a pleasant uh, surprise. I'm gonna head back over there. Might be more.
fish on. Well, finally, a fluke. Alright, that's number 280 for the season. With a mere, well, not a mere, 11 keepers, which is not that bad for this area. Well, these things are like, I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's like, I'm literally over, it's like a fish tank filled with tiny fish. And I'm just hoping for one big one just to see this. This shed that I'm throwing down there and just say, holy cow, that looks a little different. Let me bite this thing. One that's hopefully feeding on these, these little guys. Right, that's a fish. But it's one of the little guys, I think. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I keep getting hit with. I mean, literally over a thousand hits already. I mean, every, every drop I'm getting slammed. And they're taking my baits. They're like a nuisance. They're a nuisance fish. I get real lucky. I'm get, I mean, I'm getting slammed on every drop, but uh, I literally, I feel fish on this on every drop. It's not the bottom. I know the difference. It's just, I'm not a <laughs> big fish. <laughs> They're just biting away at my bait. They're not. I would have had a large fluke already if they were feeding on these things. These things wouldn't feel that confident in this area if there was a big fluke around anyway. The fluke I've caught thus far is a small fluke, so... No, I don't think there's anything big here. I doubt it. I really highly doubt it. Unless I get lucky and I drift over some productive bottom in the near future. These days are lost. Big time. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm getting a head shake. Yeah, it's a nice fluke. That might be. That's a nice one, man. It's close.
push on. Oh, well, he's tangled up. Probably gonna lose this guy. That's a big fish, too. Oh, big, but definitely not tiny. I felt bigger in the water, man. They always do. Fluke, that's good. I don't have a quick cursory measurement. Eighteen? Uh, seventeen, I said. A little over seventeen. In between seventeen and eighteen ish. So we'll say I think more closer to seventeen and a quarter, not quite seventeen and a half. Just the mouth was open, so. Ah, still, that's cool. All right, 282. My goal is to break 300 today, but <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. I get the deeper water here. GoPro capture. It's still on. <laughs> Two eighty nine for the season. Thirteen keepers. Decent fish. It's not a keeper, but two ninety. <laughs> this day went from. Just a weird day on the water. Not a complaint in the world. 
about the day itself. So far, don't jinx, I don't want to jinx it, but. No complaints so far. I mean. Flies annoy me, that's a complaint, but occasionally I'm getting hit with one of these horse flies, but that goes with the territory here. What the heck is going on over there? A striper for for a grand slam. Like well, technically, I have a grand slam, but depends on how you look at it. I really need a striper for the grand slam, but I have five or six different species of fish so far caught today and released in numbers. I mean, small, but to keep a fluke in the bag, fat ones, which is nice. Always nice to have fat fish in the bag. And I'm just trying for some more on the way in and then I'm gonna head to the beach and fully I'm up in my place. And a few more fish for the winter, which is nice. A little fluke. I look bigger than it is, but <laughs> I don't know, maybe. This looks like a nice fish. Looks decent. Alright, that looks decent, man. Definitely measuring this guy. Alright. Measure him while he's in the net. I don't lose another one today. Nuts. Oh man. I don't want to rehook him again. Hold on. Alright, let's let's get this out of here. I'm trying to get this hook away from him. Away from the net. Away from trouble here. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Over the side, it's good. I'm gonna get a measure on him. Good squeeze on him. Yeah, that fish is mouth closed. Nineteen inches and a half. The mouth closed. Oh, completely closed. It's hard to see with this thing in the way. But the fish is nineteen and a half. 19 and a half. That's going in the cooler, man. All right. That's going in the cooler. Rest of it. All right. 
These things are really cream in this time. They like to see you with the uh, sand eels. No surprise. Not surprised, but I mean. Oh my god, one just almost jumped in the boat. <laughs> Alright, so if I get if I get a what do you call it? I gotta get a stripe and I get the grand slam. Chuck to this one get hooked, hopefully. Bit. There we go. Ah, not bad, not bad. Decent fish on whatever this is. Yeah, that's a fluke. That's a big fluke. Please, please, Lord, let me just get this guy in. Oh, please. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Nice, nice fish, beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank God for this fish, beautiful fish, man. That's 23 at least.